Question 2. The periodic table is organized into groups and periods of elements. The characteristics of a certain group of elements are listed below. So we have a data table and it gives us some characteristics of a group of elements. And what are those characteristics? No luster, poor conductors, brittle, non-ductile, not malleable. If you remember your metals and non-metals, you will easily recognize these are all characteristics of non-metals. Okay, so we know that we're looking for non-metals. So now we're asked to look at the elements in this group and find those non-metals. For that, we need our periodic table. So if we're looking for sodium, sodium's over here on this side, sodium is a metal. Remember the periodic table divided, divides here along the stair step. This side of the periodic table are all metals, this side are non-metals. So, we can say sodium is not one, aluminum. Well, if you remember, aluminum is right here on the left side of the stair step, so aluminum must be a metal, so it is not one as well. Copper. Copper, let's see if we can find copper. I wonder if anybody knows what the symbol for copper is. I think it's CU. There you go, copper. And it is on the left of the stair step, meaning it too is a metal. Sulfur, let's find sulfur. Sulfur is S. S is to the right of the stair step. So you see right here is sulfur. So sulfur is definitely a non-metal. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is P, and we see that it's right next to sulfur, so they are also on the right of the stair step, meaning that it too is a nonmetal. And carbon, C. So carbon two is to the right of the stair step, meaning it is a nonmetal. So these are our three nonmetals. So now we need to go down and see which answer choice fits our. Uh, what we have located and found out, and here we go. Answer choice D is the correct answer.